Welcome to RTB. When you first run RTB, it uh, looks like this. This is the new plugins interface where we've separated the ability to grab the colors that go into your image um, from the height plugins. And so in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to set up RTB Google Maps and how to get your keys in here that, so that we can retrieve image maps and the height data from Google. To start with, click the question mark. You can use either question mark, they're going to point to the same thing. And this brings you to the Racetrack Builder website uh, where I've set up a, a page and it's a little bit dated now, the information's a little bit old. Google updates the interface very often and I can't keep up but roughly the steps remain the same. Firstly, you've got to create a Google account, you've got to then create a Google project, you create an API uh, key, and then you activate the APIs that we use in RTB. Um, then we can copy and paste that uh, key into RTB and start using it. I'll update this page in a future point so that the uh, some of the screens are a little bit more up to date. The first step is to create a new Google account or log into one if you've already got one. Simply fill in your details, um, follow Google's instructions and create an account. I've already got one so I'm just going to switch to that. Now that you've created your Google account we need to enable billing. Back in 2018 Google decided that they needed more money, so <laughs> they requested everybody start uh, putting a, a credit card onto their account, and if you go over certain quotas, they would start charging you. These quotas can change over time, uh, but currently you get $200 worth of free stuff every month. That's enough to build around about 80 tracks per month. Um, so I've never hit the limit um, doing my development and hopefully you never will either. To enable billing you would go to your payment and subscriptions and then you would manage your payment methods. I'm not going to go f any further in this process as Google is likely to be different in each country and accept different methods in different places. After creating your account and setting up billing uh, you'll be faced with creating a project, potentially. If you have done this for the first time and you've set your billing up, it can actually create a project for you. So you may already come into a screen like this. Um, if you don't have a project set up, it's not too hard. Um, you just click on the project page and this takes you to a slightly different URL. So as I say, Google continually changes their interface and you can just create a project here. Um, I won't do it because I've already got one. It only takes a few seconds to set up. After you've done that, you can use either interface really. Um, they'll both get the job done. Um, you can confirm that your billing is done. If I just uh, control click on this, it'll open up another tab here. And it'll show you how much um, you're currently being billed, how much free trial credit you've got and how many days remaining and I expect this will uh, jump up by 200 bucks or uh, every month you're supposed to get $200 free. The next step is to create an API key and uh, the credentials that go along with it. Fairly straightforward if you go to API services this is where credentials are listed uh, we can click on that first. Takes a few seconds. Uh, we've got no credentials here yet. So we're going to create an API key. Click on that, creating key. That's the key that we need. Wherever you see this little icon, you can click that. And it just copies it to the clipboard here, and we'll paste that into RTB in a moment. Um, it really wants you to restrict this. Um, so you then click restrict key, takes you to the editing of the page. We're going to restrict it here to HTTP referrers, websites, that's how uh, RTB acts. And we're just going to save that off for a moment. We're going to come back to here and restrict it in a moment. We want to also, 
one of the next step was to enable the APIs, activate the APIs. We've got static maps and elevation APIs that we need. Um, so we're just going to go back to, oh, there's many ways to do this. Let's go back to the dashboard, enable API and services, and then we'll search for elevation. We'll click that and we'll say enable comes back in a moment back to the dashboard yep we'll keep that enabled we're going to come back to this in a moment uh, API key so we've got it sitting here uh, we'll search for the other one which is static maps yeah it's not going to show up there okay we'll come back to API surely that was going to show up. Navigation, API services, dashboard, oh, that's where we are. Yep, oh, here we go. That's the one I want. Static maps. Um, not the street view, um, get the maps static API. Click that, enable that. Takes a few seconds, and now we've got credentials. We go back to here, and we can see our API key ag again. There, we've already copied this, but you can click that if you haven't. Go into this API key, and you notice that this kind of hasn't really set, so we'll set that again. <laughs> I, I'm not sure why I still find this uh, interface slightly confusing and we only want it on our maps those two save that let's just confirm everything sometimes the interface takes a little while to catch up so sometimes you're looking at one of your APIs and it doesn't realize that it's using the right credentials um, so here that's the maps elevation just triple check Static credentials, and it's all looking good. I'll just copy that once more, and we'll flick over into RTB, we'll paste these in, and let's test. Fast, fast. So now let's do yeah, 20 images on there, and we should have our first bit of uh, track coming in. Look at that. And that's it. It's done. If we come back here and we wanted to go back to here and check our billing and make sure our credit card is not being um, taken for a ride, you can look and see how much you're, you're actually using over time. Anyway, any questions, um, post them in the Steam forums is where I'm most likely to be found. Thank you for watching.